I have a question from Raju Arora, which says, uh, how seriously does the go Indian government represent the, uh, its problems with the Khalistan movement in Canada? Do you think the Indian response is adequate? Uh, do you see a sufficient pressure coming from New Delhi uh, on the government in Canada? Or do you think our uh, diplomacy is uh, inadequate, ineffective, uh, uh, misdirected? Well, your uh, the question is going to get me in trouble because I'm going to say I don't, I, I, I'm going to say something bad about the Indian government. It's I think they have been too polite. We all like diplomats who are polite. Yes. Uh, and I should uh, I should hedge what I'm saying by pointing out that behind the scenes, to my knowledge, uh, a, a series of Indian high commissioners in Canada have been somewhat less polite than they are in public. Nevertheless, uh, I, I think they have, um, uh, they've missed some opportunities uh, to be louder, more vigorous, uh, and to embarrass the Canadian government publicly. Uh, I, I'll give you an example. We mentioned earlier the 2018 visit of Justin Trudeau as prime minister, uh, his trip to India in 2018 at which yes. A, a, a Khalistani terrorist embarrassingly appeared on the guest list at the Canadian High Commission, and that blew up in, in, in uh, Trudeau's face, uh, and it was a major embarrassment. That embarrassment came from the exposure of who was on the guest list. I, I mean, I was tipped off. I did a story on the CBC, and the rest is history. Um, that uh, exposure, though, was it could be blamed on me <laughs> as a reporter and other reporters uh, who got engaged in that story. Uh, but it wasn't thanks to the Indian government. The Indian government was, you know, f found out about it on Lately. the CBC, <laughs> uh, and then when asked about it, they they firmly denied that they had anything to do with this because of course the Khalistanis said, oh, well, it was, uh, it, 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 it was the prime minister's office. It was uh, the Indian government, which arranged this invitation. You know, the Indian government arranged for the Canadian high commissioner to issue the invitation. No, 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 that's not how it works at all. Uh, <laughs> they had no power to issue invitations to the Canadian high commissioner's party. Uh, uh, but uh, other than denying, that they had anything to do with it, uh, which is not, not which is an honest denial. It was they, they were telling the truth. I, I know how it happened, uh, and and it wasn't because the Indian government arranged it. They didn't have the power to arrange it, and uh, they they didn't know uh, that this guy would be going to the dinner. Uh, yeah. They weren't asked to approve it. But um, my, my point is simply that the uh, the incident. Um, certainly lent itself, in my view, to a more vigorous statement of government than that was, that, that was actually given, other than denying that they had anything to do with it, in response to baseless allegations that they did have something to do with it. Other than that, the Indian government basically said nothing. Uh, now, in fact, uh, if I recall that uh, trip, uh, the only real plain speaking came from the Chief Minister of Punjab, Amrinder Singh, at that time. Who was very That's blunt? Correct. Yes, it, 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 it's been. It was at the time a very convenient arrangement for, for Prime Minister Narendra Modi to let Captain Amarinda uh, do, do the be, be the hard cop uh, and to go after be the bad cop, I, I guess, yes, uh, yes. and to go after the Khalistanis. Uh, and uh, to take Canada to, to task, which he did much more vigorously, uh, refusing on one previous occasion to meet with Hajit Sajjan, the uh, Liberal Minister for Defence uh, from uh, Vancouver South, uh, and eventually agreeing to meet him uh, rather reluctantly uh, in the company of uh, Justin Trudeau, but he made his point pretty well that you know he, he, he just didn't even want to meet with this guy. Well, that's that's something that the Indian government would never have done, because, as I say, too polite. Now, 
if, say, back in 1982, Indira Gandhi's government had said to Pierre Trudeau, what do you mean you're not going to extradite this terrorist? This guy's wanted for the murder of two policemen in India. We've asked for his extradition to, for, to be tried for murder, and you're refusing? And, and Canada's reasons, by the way, I won't get into them now, but the Canada's reasons for refusing that extradition request were absurd in the extreme. Something to do with, oh, well, India doesn't accept the Queen as head of state, and therefore the yes. Commonwealth Extradition Treaty, blah, blah, blah. blah. Some sort of bureaucratic nonsense. Uh, it was laughable, really. The, the, the real reason was we, we didn't want to antagonize Sikh voters in Canada. That's why they didn't extradite it. But if Indira Gandhi had said to Trudeau, and they had a good rapport, uh, they had a good personal rapport. It was reported, for example, that they, they would meditate together, dismiss their aides from bilateral meetings, and sit there silently meditating together for as long as 15 minutes while the aides outside the room said, so, what's going on? Uh, so th th there's no doubt that they had a rapport. Uh, imagine if Andrew Gandhi said, look, this just isn't good enough, and I'm going to say something publicly when we have our press conferences. I'm going to embarrass you in public. Well, you know, th th this guy's a murderer, and we want him extradited, and stop making excuses. Then it might have been a bit more difficult. And then and, and continuing on to the incident that we've just, just discussed with the Justin Trudeau's visit. I do think that the Indian government could have been more vigorous, uh, and I know that they have their reasons, and I know that they have been more vigorous privately, but sometimes you got to make it public. You've got to em embarrass even a friendly government in public and say, look, you've got to step up. Well, Terry, thank you so much.